My name is Debbie Steinman, and I'm a certified Feldenkrais practitioner with a background in physical therapy. And today I'm going to talk you through a verbally guided movement lesson. And this lesson is meant to be used as a cool down after swimming. It can be done right after or later in the day. So if you would find a place where your arms and legs are long on the floor. Ideally you have on loose comfortable clothing. And once you're in that position, let's have you close your eyes, please. And without changing anything, bring your attention to your breathing. And notice what parts of you press into the floor the most. So if we were to magically take you over to an ink pad and then set you down on the floor, what parts of you are very dark? and which parts of you are lighter. And maybe there are body parts perhaps behind your knees, maybe in the small of your back that don't touch the floor. So just noticing what's your contact like now, and it'll probably change by the end of the lesson. Bend one knee. Bend the other knee. And as you do this movement lesson, you want to move in a pain-free range and take your time and go slow. So we're cultivating curiosity and awareness. We're not achieving. It's not a goal-oriented movement lesson. So in this position, is it possible to slowly begin to arch your low back and then press it into the floor? So you're just going to go back and forth, taking your time and find out, does your head move along? Does it make sense for your chin to come towards your chest as you arch your low back? And what happens to your breathing as you do that? And as you go back and forth, could you imagine the possibility that every vertebrae in your spine is moving and that there's a moment when it makes sense that one vertebrae moves and then the next. So just feel that communication happening through your skeleton. And go ahead and pause. And allow your left leg to be straight. Your right knee will remain bent. Begin to press the sole of the right foot into the floor and see if your brain can track where that movement goes up to your knee, up to your right hip, and eventually you'll feel the right side of your pelvis peeling away from the floor. And it's as if you're going to pour yourself over towards your left side. And come back down. And the next time you do it, imagine there's a punch bowl sitting on your belly and you're going to pour all the punch over towards the left. You can feel that your left knee rolls and find out if your head wants to roll to the left. Does that make sense in the movement to you? And as you go back and forth, feel this communication from one bone to the next, from the foot to the knee to the right pelvis. You'll notice rotation in your spine. Is it possible that the right shoulder blade begins to peel away from the floor a little bit? And notice the timing of the rolling of the head. And is it possible that you're breathing the whole time you're doing this? And the next time you land on the floor, gently and slowly, taking your time, allow your right arm to be long above your head, somewhere that it's comfortable. 
It can be draped across your forehead. It can be straight above you, wherever it feels safe, comfortable, easily accessed. And begin again, pressing the right foot into the floor, feeling the movement travel through the skeleton, pouring that bowl of punch over towards the left, and find out if the right arm were to lengthen a little bit, kind of like you do in a crawl stroke, don't force it, just explore that possibility of the finger sliding on the surface above you, elongating that right arm when it makes sense. And only do what's easily available to you. Notice what happens to your breathing. And notice where you feel rotation in your spine. And allowing the shoulder to come down first. Eventually the pelvis lands and you're back to the beginning. And go ahead and let your right arm slide down so it's at your side. Allow your left your right knee to lengthen. Taking a full rest in this position, bring your attention to your breathing. And find out if it feels different how you're contacting the floor right now. Is there more of you on one side? And bend your left knee. And allow your head to simply roll left and right a couple of times. And really feel the weight of the back of your head. Maybe you can go half as fast. And the next time your head is in the middle, pause. And begin on the left side as you did on the right. Pressing the sole of the left foot into the floor. Pouring yourself over towards the right. And this time noticing the trajectory of the left knee. Does it reach away from your body? Does it come back toward the hip socket as you land? So pressing that left foot into the floor, pouring yourself over toward the right. Feeling the movement travel through the skeleton, waiting for the invitation for the next bone to move. And the next time you're on your back, take your time and find a way that the left arm can be above your head. Listening to your left shoulder, allowing it to tell you how far it wants to go. Maybe on the side it wants to rest on your head. And begin again, pressing the left foot into the floor feeling the movement travel up into the pelvis, feeling the rotation through each vertebrae. And the next time you are pressing your left foot into the floor and pouring yourself over to the right, find out is there some way that that left arm can reach gently, easily, lazily, And just go back and forth one or two more times only. And you might imagine when we're, you're swimming, this pushing off from the wall or simply kicking, rotation in the spine, elongating, turning your head so you're breathing on one side. And doing this movement lesson allows the nervous system, the body and the brain to reconnect and play around with what are the most efficient ways of organizing ourselves when we're doing this fast, big action in the pool. So bring your attention to your breathing as you find your way back to the floor. Allow your left arm to rest at your side. Allow your left leg to be long. And once again, bring your attention to how your body rests into the floor. And as we complete this movement lesson, is it possible with each out breath that you rest a little more fully into the floor? So 
So find out is there some small way to surrender and let go of any muscle contractions that are happening. And in so doing, find out if that ink print is darker now than when you began. So not yet, but in a moment, you can take your time and pour yourself to sitting, finding a way to come up to standing and into gravity that feels easily available to you, and most importantly, as effortlessly as possible. And we'll see how you feel in standing. And in standing, you can shift your weight, do whatever comes to you and feel how the lesson lands in your body. Just notice if there's new parts in your awareness. Do you feel more balanced, heavier? Find out what's true for you and you can return to this lesson or parts of this lesson whenever it suits you.